welcome back um, as you can see I'm doing something a little bit different with the background um, I didn't really care for how the white walls were making the light shift while I was making videos so I decided to put up a black background but then um, I realized that uh, I'm probably gonna look like a floating head because my hair is so dark it kind of blends into the background my hair is jet black so yeah um, but don't worry, I don't think I'm going to keep it this way for very long. However, it might be a little bit because my nieces have told me that I'm not allowed to do anything without them first. And God only knows what it's going to look like when they're done with it. But I'm sure it will be sparkly. Yeah, yeah, very sparkly. Anyway, today's going to be a shorter video. We're going to talk about some skincare. So it's going to be a little bit shorter because it's, you know, no demonstrations or whatever. And I can hear the applause already. Yeah, you're like, this bitch talks too much. Yeah, keep it under 10 minutes. I'm going to try. So we're going to talk about today um, <clears throat> some dupes for high-end skincare items. And it's really funny because the two dupes that I wound up getting uh, completely by accident, I didn't research it or anything before, are made by the same company that makes the high-end products that I, I want to talk, talk about. talk about, want to talk a little bit about skincare because skincare should always, always, always be your first step. Like, you can have all the makeup in the world and you can know how to apply it as good as any makeup artist out there. Even if you're not a makeup artist, you're just some, like, regular chick off the street. If you don't have a good base, your makeup is always going to look like crap. Your skin is not going to behave properly. Your foundation is not going to act the way it's supposed to act. So, you know, you're running around here and you have your foundation on and everybody else is raving about the particular foundation that you're wearing saying it's great, but it's slipping and it's sliding off your face and it's you're getting oily partway through the day. Maybe it's not the foundation. Maybe it's your skin should be an extremely, extremely important everyday part of your routine. Um, from the kind of wash that you use, moisturizer, and serum. Like, I am a huge, huge fan of serums. Most of the serums I use are usually for brightening, because I like for my skin to look very, very bright, um, or for evening out the skin tone, because, you know, black women, women of color, we tend to have, like, many different colors going on in our face at the same time. Uh, so something that can bring all of those colors together into one is always a good thing. So I tend to experiment a lot with one of the serums, serums that I had tried a few months back was the Advanced Genifique Serum from Lancome. And I tried it simply because everyone was raving about it. I didn't really appreciate the price point uh, because for a 1.7 ounce bottle you get, and it's not even 1.7 ounce, I think it's only like an ounce. Uh, you get you get to pay $79 for the privilege of one ounce of product. There's also a half ounce bottle that's $20 that you can use to try, which is the one that I had gotten from Ulta because I was just like, mm, I don't know if I'm ready to invest $80 in something that I don't know how it's going to work because I've had issues with Lancome products in the past. Uh, they load their products down with fragrance and my skin reacts pretty badly to it. I tried one of their even tone serums once and got a nasty sunburn or a nasty burn on one side of my face and I was just like nope mm -mm, not doing that again. So mm -mm. Um, I liked the Genifique. I didn't care for uh, the fragrance in it and then I was just like randomly wandering in, in uh, what was it Walgreens because that's my favorite store. I was randomly wandering in Walgreens one day and I came across uh, this little guy right here. Yeah. This little guy right here is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Hydra Nutrition Serum. Uh, you can find this in Walgreens. You can find it in Ulta. And those are really the only two places that I know of that you can find it. You can probably find this in Walmart also. I'm not sure. I don't really do Walmart because I am a snob. <coughs> so anyway. Yeah, this, unlike the Genifique, for a, this is a, is this a one ounce bottle? Let me make sure. Don't want to be giving y'all bad information and stuff. I threw the box away, so I don't know. Yeah, so this is a one ounce bottle. Um, and for $17.99, you get one ounce instead of $79. And 
when I read the ingredients because I used it and I was like wait a second this is kind of acting just like Genifique acted on my skin like you know my skin is feeling brighter it was feeling firmer it's feeling a whole lot softer um, I was like this is kind of acting like the Genifique so I wonder because I know that L'Oreal owns Lancome so I was like hmm it might be the same formula just with less of the ingredients because that's what happens when a company makes a product and they make a drugstore version of it it'll be the same product but it'll have uh, the ingredients that make it super active and work faster in the high-end version of it will be found in less concentrations in the drugstore version so if you were interested or if you've tried the Genifique and you liked it but you didn't feel like shelling out $20 for half an ounce every time or $79 for a full ounce this age perfect is the cousin to that now um, the fragrance issue is it's not as fragrant it's not as fragrant as a lot of other Lancome products but it's it, it's still very fragrant like I, I don't you know I always ask myself this question I'm like D I'm looking at French brands I'm looking at you French brands I'm, I'm looking at all y'all right now because I'm just sitting here like do French women really want to smell like a perfumery 24 7 because this is personally to me this is just gross but hey to each their own I'm very sensitive to scents I don't like them anywhere near my face so yeah so once again if you like the Genifique, you like the way it works, but you don't want to spend $79, this H Perfect Hydro Nutrition another really Check popular um, Lancome product that people rave about all the time is the Energy to V line. Um, I know some people like the Essence, but a lot of people also liked the Liquid Care Moisturizer. And uh, they have a different one now. This one has been around, I want to say, for maybe two months. But they had a different one that they had. The new one is called the Glow... What's it called? Glow Boosting Liquid Care Moisturizer. That is not the one that they had before. That's not the one that I used before. The one that I used before was just a regular, no glow, no nothing. And so I liked it, but once again, the fragrance issue. It was just, it was just way too much for me. Um, and also because it's, it's pretty pricey. It's a one ounce bottle and you pay $55 for an ounce of product. So, you know, it, it's pretty pricey, but I like the idea of a liquid care moisturizer because I find that most of them absorb faster. They absorb better and, uh, they, I don't know, they provide moisture during the day. They don't interrupt your foundation. So you don't have to worry about your foundation sliding off your skin because, you know, it's a little bit too heavy or whatever. So I like the idea. And so when I saw on, um, I don't remember where I saw, but that L'Oreal was debuting these, um, what is it called? The Hydrogenous Daily Liquid Care Moisturizers. I was like, ooh, it well, comes in two formulations. Out. It comes in one for combination oily skin like me. And it also comes in one for dry skin. So this is actually even better than the Energy Divi. And also for, I think it's $19.99, you get 3.4 ounces versus an ounce for $55. So this is like a better deal. And also the scent on this is actually a really, really nice scent. It's not, it's not very perfumey. It just smells fresh and fresh it just smells really fresh so if you like the energy to V but you don't like the price of the energy to V this is a good one especially if you want something to to cater to your particular skin type whether you're dry or oily this is a really really good alternative. perfect I went on the ultra site because once again L'Oreal owns uh Lancome, I went on the Ulta site to check the ingredients list for the Hydrogenius and turns out the ingredients list is pretty much identical to that of the Energy de V, just once again in smaller quantities. And you know it's in smaller quantities because the active ingredients will be towards the end of the list rather than at the top. So, the I mean, this does the job though. I actually really like it. Um, 
I use it in the mornings. It doesn't really work well for nighttime. This is more of a daytime uh, moisturizer. It's super light. It absorbs really well and it gets the job done. And unlike the Energy V, it didn't make me break out. You're going to wear this uh, if you're looking for something really light but still moisturizing to wear underneath your foundation, this is a really, really good alternative. And it's a fraction of the cost of the Energy V. Same ingredients, does the same thing, brightens the skin, moisturizes the skin. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in today. And I hope you found this video informative. Always remember that there's literally almost always a cheaper alternative to a very high-end product especially when it comes to skincare because uh, try to remember that skincare is very topical so there really is only so much that is going to do for your skin a lot of skincare starts internally you know what you put into your body um so there's really only so much that these ingredients are going to do so for the people for them to charge you upwards of $100 for something when you're only putting it on top of your skin, mm, it's kind of crap. So whenever you can find a cheaper version of something that does the same thing, I say go for it. These two that I just showed you are two really, really good alternatives, although, you know, they still have fragrance. Um, listen, if you're going to try the Energy DV, that's what you want to do. If you want to try the Advanced Genifique, that's your business. You do it. If you want to use something with fragrance, go ahead and do it. My personal opinion, fragrance shouldn't be put on the skin because it breaks down the collagen in your skin. It'll make you age faster. It'll make you get wrinkles faster. However, if you're going to go ahead and do it anyway, pick up cheaper versions because the ingredients are the same. It might take a little bit longer to get you where you want to be, but you'll get there. And you'll save money going there. So, hey, win-win, right? All right, guys. It's been great, and I'll see you in the next one.